Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a DIY charcoal face mask peel kind of thing. And I saw it on Pinterest and I decided to do it. So I am also in the middle of filming this makeup look, which my face isn't done for obvious reasons because of this video. I think I'm going to post this video first and then post the other video after. Since I haven't posted a video last week, I think I'm going to post two videos this week. So all you're going to need for this DIY is glue and charcoal. So before we begin and create the mask, I want to zoom you guys in so you guys can see a closer look of my face. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have like small pores, but I also have like a lot of blackheads, which is annoying. So we're going to try to get rid of those today. But we're going to go ahead and start on this mask. So all we're going to need is, again, glue. So I'm just going to pour some glue on a plate. I don't know if it had to be Elmer's glue, but this was on sale. So I might as well. And then I'm going to take some charcoal. And I don't have any, like, measurements or anything. So before we dip into that glue, make sure I'm going to open up my pores. Mainly on my chin and nose, but that will help hopefully pull out a lot more stuff so i'll be right back i'm just gonna take a brush to apply it on my face okay so i've applied it and i've noticed that there's like separation going on and i think that's only because of the glue don't know if you guys can see that there you go. I'm gonna leave this on, let it dry, and then come back and peel it off and let's see if it works or not. Okay, so it is pretty much dry and I had to help new uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, so my face is pretty much dry and I can't really move it and I can't really talk as you guys can tell. My nose is harder than the rest of everywhere. Oh, it's making cracks. Okay, so I'm just gonna peel it off and see if it did anything. Oh, my little peach fuzz. Oh, I'm not completely dry. But I'm gonna take it off. Okay, so this is my chin part. I can't even see it, but nothing really came out other than like peach fuzz. All of my little baby hairs. Well, my face feels so smooth. All my hairs. Again, it took out a lot of peach fuzz on my head. I'm gonna rip that part off because I wanna see what the nose has to offer. Blackheads. So it did get some of my blackheads out. I don't know if you guys can see it. Like that one's a big one, the light right there. But the one tip that I have for you guys is to let it fully dry or your face will look like this. So I'm gonna actually go wash everything off and then I will be back. I'm back and my memory card is about to be full, but my face does feel a lot smoother and it kind of looks brighter, but then that could also be just, I don't know. But um, when I looked at the mask, when I filled it off, a lot of my peach fuzz came off and for my nose, a lot of like my small blackheads came out. Not all of them, but let me- Alright, so I zoomed you guys in and I think this is the closest I can get without it unfocusing, but I still have a lot of blackheads, of course. 
and I don't know what the original mask like how well it works but I think this one did an okay job I still have blackheads but it does look like it brought them closer to the surface I don't know if that's just me. So I think this DIY was good. I one out of five, I would probably give it like a three. It obviously did not take all of my blackheads off and I would still have to use a nose strip, but I think it did make my skin look brighter and looks a little better. But since it's the only thing I have, I will probably use it for a few weeks or a month or so and see how it does and if it like brings out all more of my impurities because like, so that is everything I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this DIY. And if you guys try it and it works for you or if it doesn't work for you, let me know in the comments down below. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!